Okay, if your minimum OSD says fail to connect to bootloader, you already have a minimum OSD, obviously. You're going to need the FTDI tool. You can get them online or eBay very cheap. You're going to need the cable, which is a mini B, not a micro like the new Android phones use. And the FTDI drivers, not put links in the description for all this. So you normally just take it and plug it in. And plug it in. I'm like, okay. Let's go to our config tool. This is the original basic one that I'm going to use. It's connected. Read from OSD. Fail to talk to bootloader. Okay, so that's not working. The most people think, oh, I just have it upside down. Let's just flip it over, but you'll get the same results. The problem is on the FTDI connector, the ground doesn't line up with the ground on the minimum OSD. So what I did, I had some extra cables, and I just made my own connectors for it. On the other end, just the pins like you normally have a servo connector and I don't know, some pins I had laying around. You need five of them. You take your FTDI board, plug one into the DTR, one into the RX. Or you can make your own connector if it's different. It's just, you gotta get them connected somehow. TX. VCC is the power. And you skip the CTS and go into the ground. So there is one missing in there because it doesn't line up. If you do get one of these, make sure you get the 5 volt version, not the 3.3. And then on the minimum OSD, you connect the DTR to the green or GRN, the T or RX on the FTDI tool goes to the TX on the minimum OSD. The TX on the FTDI tool goes to the RX on the minimum OSD. VCC goes to the power. And then ground is the next one. So this one's left empty. Ignore these wires on here. Some mod I did doesn't affect this. Then you'll just plug it back in. Go back to your computer. It already had the COM port selected. And read from OSD. Done downloading data. So then you can go in and change whatever you want on it. Um, one that I like better than the free version is this. It's called MWOSD. It's free to download and play with. You can read your settings and uh, you know, mess around with it. But you can't write the settings to it until you pay for it. It was 1.99 pounds at mwosd.com. It was like $2.60 American. I think I used PayPal. But once you have it connected, you can go in, you can pick which firmware version you want to download. This is for the minimum OSD, but if you have the, the micros in there too, and you can you just pick whatever versions you want and just upload the firmware right to it. Very simple to use. I recommend this. And then one other thing to show you is the micro 
Minimal SD. This is like the newer version, so a lot of you might have this one. This does actually line up to the pins in here. So when you plug it in, you don't have to worry about the jumpers and all that stuff. So if you haven't gotten a minimum OSD yet, and you're just checking out these problems with them, get the micro in because it plugs directly in there and uh, you can sync and update and all that then. Hopefully this has helped you if you had a bootloader problem. I know it's a little tricky with all the diagrams they show it, but until you really see it, that you, it's the ground is the problem on it. The ground doesn't line up with the uh, FTDI tool. That's what the real issue is. And so hopefully this helped you. If it did, subscribe. Yeah, the usual. Thanks for watching.